Welcome everyone. In this set of slides, we are going to have a very brief 12 minute and a half walkthrough on uh, how to get on top uh, social media product launch uh, with very easy five do's and don'ts to keep in mind. Uh, being social in the social media sphere is almost the same as being social in real life. Uh, to do a product introduction on social media would be analogous to get introduced to a new bunch of people and be liked by all of them. And through this analogy, we will start. We divided the slides in pre-social media product launch uh, points 1 to 3 and launch points 4 to 5. So, without further preamble, let's start. Be someone in the social media sphere. Uh, this would be the same as being known or liked by a group and knowing that you're expected in every party they go. So, give your brand a human side by acting naturally and go to those, going to those places uh, where people are. First of all, we need to allow people to talk. To talk. Uh, people using social media don't like monologues. Uh, but they do like being listened and taken into consideration. The, fr uh, the phrase uh, or cliche phrases like um, our customers are our main reason to be here take a real meaning in social media. So you might want to keep a focus on them and pay attention to their language nuances. Uh, we are giving brands a human side by being social and we know as a fact that nowadays our target market expects us um, to be social uh, and as we all know, when we get to this point, we might uh, meet people on both the good and the bad sides, but no matter what, don't take anything personal. Um, enjoy engagement and track bad comments as feedback and follow up on them. Try not to be afraid, look needy or stupid. Uh, that, that's a rule just as in real life. Um, if you look afraid, bad, happen is, uh, bad things are going to happen to you and... Um, if you look needy or stupid, no one is going to like you. When we are talking to people in a party, uh, we hate know-it-alls, right? Uh, but we do like people that seem to be authentic or bold or spontaneous uh, or that can think originally or out of the box, that are self-confident. Um, so if we behave this way, people is going to like us and there will be no one stopping us. So uh, we just be, uh, should be mindful that we should not oversell our products, um, especially in our blogs. Uh, you will end up losing everything you worked so for so far. So avoid filling every blog post with call to actions, as there can be only one call to action that is really good on the page, and that's good enough. So I have here some action items uh, for you. So you might want to uh, post regularly on your on your blog or Twitter or Facebook like to keep a heartbeat going uh, and these posts they need to add value to people social media is about getting people to talk to our product or um, or brand and our means to do it is value if you don't provide it you will end up wasting your money or your time and your effort on the other hand um, Keep reading about best practices, uh, uh, social media etiquette, trends, etc. Uh, they are changing fast as platforms evolve or new ones arise. Streamline your social media workflow. As you might have guessed, social media won't be as having someone paid to make a web page for us. Uh, it's a constant and tough job. Uh, get, uh, so uh, we might want to have a social media platform mix that we feel confident using um, that's one aspect we should take care of uh, we don't want too many platforms or too few um, we want to have all these platforms connected with uh, our site um, there are some APIs out there to do this um, get into Facebook, Twitter um, look for some of the most influential blogs on, in your niche by doing this, you will get those friends that you need to be someone to be liked. Uh, at the end, just as in real life, uh, social media is about relationships. Uh, don't block out comments. Uh, 
so uh, it's like going into a party and expect everyone to think like you and be uh, and be quiet listening to you. Uh, we don't act this way, right? So if you are nice and your product is good, uh, you are in pretty safe ground. It's just a matter of letting people know you as the expert you are. Uh, social media takes time and it's an ongoing effort. So don't get discouraged in the res uh, if the results are not the ones that you expect, uh, especially in the beginning. So we mentioned getting the best mix of platform, right? Well, this would be a nice starter set, uh, which is fairly standard, uh, using a blog as a backbone and plug every single platform you use back to it. Um, make every platform, uh, as I mentioned before, link back to your site and make the site uh, use the uh, content you put in all these other platforms uh, on it. Uh, make sure that your workflow is efficient enough so that you don't need to rewrite stuff every time you post something new. So uh, th here are some action items. Uh, we mentioned getting the best mix of platforms, so we will need to get a nice starter set which is very, uh, fairly standard. So let's start with a blog as a backbone and some uh, social media platforms. Uh, we will need to connect back those uh, platforms uh, to our blog and make the, the site use all the content we put there. Uh, make sure that the workflow is efficient enough so that we don't need to rewrite stuff every time we post something new. Um, we accomplish this by adding some code here and there, allowing us to connect Facebook and Twitter with our blog and um, in a way that it's very easy to automatically uh, post our blog entries on those platforms. Um, also, these uh, platforms are being used as a source for authentication, so we might want to use that as a sign-in alternative for our site, uh, taking uh, our time to make relationships with those influential people in our niche and track those people leaving comments often on our site or on Facebook or on Twitter or even in YouTube. It's uh, it's very important and we will know why uh, on the slides to come. Um, meanwhile, let's get ready to launch. Um, so this one is pretty straightforward and it has uh, action items uh, included. Get as many information as you can from the people without being intrusive. People misjudge Facebook privacy policy and we can find a lot from people using Facebook uh, and connecting to our site. Follow up on them, uh, send regular but not massive uh, or intrusive uh, but valuable um, communications. Uh, let me say this again, this is very important, valuable communications, all right? Um, or Eventually, they will unsubscribe from you. Uh, make sure that this information is personalized or customized as possible. Uh, you don't need any fancy piece of software to deal with the CRM as long as you keep information organized and as custom as you need it. Get some nice stickers and uh, or badges or pins on. Uh, people like to put stickers everywhere and wear badges, uh, so just make sure that they are appealing enough uh, and that your logo is not the main part of it, okay? Uh, make available some wallpapers on your site and make some infographics available for bloggers to use later on. And this gets us to step number four. And as I mentioned before, um, the fourth point is the one when we start the launching. So what we need to do here, once we are no one revered uh, by people in our niche, is to start the fun. Blogging is fine, but we need to make some noise and uh, we need to make an experience that grabs the spotlight back to us. So here are just a few ideas. Um, and this is the way how YouTube and Flickr perhaps can become pretty useful. First, uh, think of a contest. If you're launching an ultra low fat chocolate bar, perhaps you could ask people to be creative and make a video on how they better enjoy the taste of low fat chocolate that is natural. And I know what you might be thinking now. Uh, and yes, let people talk. 
at the end you are the one giving a prize and selecting the video that won which may be the closest one to your communications strategy and this way you don't act like a control freak uh, and you can make some buzz with it, uh, press leads, etc. I don't know. You could also make a photo contest, be creative, people like to compete and the recognition afterwards. So just make sure that you're not greedy, give at least some uh, like three prizes perhaps and um, that would be nice. Um, you could and actually you should uh, make some video blogging and get people interviews. Remember that we are building up in word of mouth, uh, we don't need uh, fancy hardware or cameras to do it. Nice thing about social media is that people like the feeling of low budget. So we've got to the final stage and this is the product launch, right? Uh, make influential people feel special or more special than they already do. Um, send them samples of your product many days before the launching event. This will allow them to write reviews. Um, out of gut feeling, uh, expect 10% of the people to write a review about your product. So if you send a thousand samplers, uh, you might get a hundred reviews with good luck. Um, we need to plan a party. To make this, having a Facebook event is uh, useful as you might have friends groups uh, coming over. Invite as many relevant people as you can. And by relevant people, I mean those that often come on your site. I told you we were going to talk about them. Um, and those influential bloggers we talk about and we are going to give them those badges or pins uh, we were saying in the last slide, take as many pictures as you can, make them funny, tag people in Facebook so that they have the chance of going viral. As a note, just make sure that you, you are covered by your privacy policy, disclaimer, uh, and those that sort of legal document that uh, people don't read anyway. Um, in, your, in your communications, avoid using the word free as it's often linked to dodgy websites and make sure that your that you're collecting people information uh, and do some follow-up afterwards. Well, I think we covered everything. If you have any specific questions, you can put them on the comment section below. Uh, thanks so much and can't wait to finally um, address this kind of stuff personally with you guys. Um, see you and have a nice Easter.